Hey everyone, welcome back to TV5 News at 9. So cancer does not discriminate. Today we're talking about how proton therapy may be someone's option to treat esophagus cancer. So joining us this morning, we have Dr. Hasham Gayar. Dr. Gayar, thanks for calling in. How are you? I am fine and thank you for having me with you. Of course, always a pleasure. Let's start off first with what is exactly esophagus cancer? Esophagus cancer is a serious cancer that affects the food pipe between the neck or the throat and the stomach in the abdomen. So it goes through the chest between the heart and the important critical structures from the inlet of the chest through the entire chest, surrounded by lungs, airways, vessels, heart. And it's a important uh, anatomical area that is serious. The cancer itself uh, is not as common as lung cancer or esophagus cancer, but it's significant uh, uh, when it happens, the outcome is, can be very significant and affect mortality sometimes. And the quality of life is critical when you're treating such a cancer. Yeah, absolutely. It sounds serious too. Well, who might be at greatest risk for esophagus cancer? What risk factors are also there? Uh, unfortunately, there is no good screening or prevention that we can do for esophagus cancer. So anybody, usually it happens to people in their mid-age, sort of after 50 years of age, so between 50 and 70 or even 80 years old. Mm. If, if someone noticed difficulty swallowing, the food is not going down or losing weight or spitting up blood, these are factors to consider visiting the doctor and see what's going on. When it is found, unfortunately, not every, not all the time. It's in the early stage, and treating it is uh, surgery, radiation, and chemotherapy. And the chemotherapy is mild. The radiation is done usually before the surgery to cure the cancer, and is an essential part of treating it. So, Dr. Gayar, just tell me a little bit about how proton therapy might be a good option to treat this uh, esophagus cancer. So usually before we treat esophagus cancer with resection or surgery, we give a course of radiation that eliminates and kills the cancer and cleans the area around it. The problem with the conventional radiation or regular radiation is it goes through tissue. So if I shoot the beam from the front of the chest, it goes all the way through the back, affecting the heart, the, all the contents between the two lungs and the two lungs themselves, including the spinal cord in the back. And these are very important critical structures. And we just have to accept the, the dose going through those structures. When we, have, when we use proton therapy, unlike conventional radiation, proton therapy is very precise treatment. So it's tiny particles that we shoot it at the right speed, uh, precisely stops at the target, and there is no radiation going through. Complete stop of the beam and the radiation is giving fully at the target, less dose is giving as we go through the target, as we go through tissue, and the full dose is delivered in the target and there is no exit. This allows sparing normal tissue. So when you give a radiation that can stop, that's the ultimate radiation. So you keep radiation where it belongs, which is the tumor and the area of the lymph nodes you want to treat around the tumor. That spares and has been shown by a study from University of, of uh, uh, MD Anderson, uh, Texas, that it reduces the risk of problems and the side effects and the getting sick and get going to the hospital because of treatments is reduced significantly. And that's why insurance approves proton therapy hands down when it comes to esophagus cancer. So if someone has esophagus cancer, it's giving it radiation with proton therapy is superior, has been proven to be superior and better outcomes than conventional radiation because it protects normal tissue. The heart, there is minimal or zero radiation going to the heart, mm -hmm. while the heart almost receives the same dose as the cancer when you give the regular radiation treatments. The lungs, the same thing, risk of inflammation in the lungs or affecting heart disease later on are reduced when you use proton therapy. That is where particle therapy plays a role. It's basically the ultimate radiation treatment you can give. That is amazing. And uh, say someone out there heard that answer. Thank you for explaining it in great detail. How do they know if that is a good treatment option for them? 
Absolutely, because for, not for every patient that radiation is needed for their esophagus cancer treatment. But if you have cancer or someone in your family or friends have cancer that requires radiation uh, uh, among esophagus cancer or other diseases, you can simply call us or reach out to us. And you can do that simply by calling 855-MY-PROTON and or going on the web and check mclaren.org slash proton treatment and reach out to us, send us an email or give us a call. We will investigate by phone remotely and even have a, uh, a remote visit with the doctor from your own house and talk about what you have. And if you are a candidate and you will benefit, we'll ask you to come for a visit and check the logistics and the need. Uh, so find, give us a call or check the website and put your information. And we have uh, uh, navigators that can communicate with you, evaluate your case, case, see if you would benefit from the treatment and coordinate that accordingly. Simple, call 855-MY-PROTON and we'll answer and we'll guide you step by step. And if you are a candidate, it could save your life, it could save your significant side effect during treatment, it could affect the outcome. And this is a bad disease to have. So if you have it, you need to pay every attention to getting the right treatment. Yes, and do not hesitate. Thank you for this great information, Dr. Gayar. Anything else you'd My like to pleasure. add? My pleasure. Okay, that, thank you again. And if you at home want more information, all this great information you just got, just go to the hot link section of our website, WNEM.com.